Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at an industrial sewing machine part and their functions. And I'll be explaining to you using an email EM8500 sewing machine. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Let's move into it. This is the email EM8500 sewing machine. This is an industrial straight sewing machine. One thing I need to point out here is about the hoiling system of this sewing machine is very different. This is where the hoil reservoir is. Can you see? That is the difference of this sewing machine. It's used special hoil under the sewing machine. So make sure you hoil it properly. So you don't need to hoil it like all this um black sewing machine just fill the oil tank under it this is the power switch button this is the new lifter and this new lifter helps to raise the pressure foot up can you see the pressure foot it helps to raise the pressure foot up and also there is another lifter at this back here just to raise the pressure foot up and this is the tension yeah you can turn it clockwise and counterclockwise just to reduce the thread tension this is the thread guide and this thread guide when you are working on a heavy weight material make sure you move the thread guide to the left like this make sure you move it to the left like this to help to increase the length of the thread being pulled out by the thread take up lever and the same thing applies to when you are working on a light weight fabric just turn it to the right for a light weight fabric for the standard just leave it at the middle this is the thread take up lever the thread take up lever will help you move the thread in sync with the needle it helps to move the thread up and down with the needle this is the needle this is the presser foot this is the needle holder here and this is the throat plate on that next the throat plate we have the feed dog we have the feed dog and this is the slide plate for you to insert the bobbin and bobbin case and this is the presser foot pressure this helps to give pressure to the presser foot you can increase it and decrease the pressure it's very easy just unscrew this and you screw it back then screw this back to reduce the pressure of the presser foot this is the hand wheel on this sewing machine to help rotate the machine manually and this is the bobbin winder it helps to wind the bobbin automatically so this is the bobbin this is the bobbin and this is the bobbin case so you insert the bobbin into this to help wind the bobbin this is the stitch selection dial and the stitch selection dial is used to select the length of the stitches you can turn it clockwise and counterclockwise just like this to select the length of the stitches if you are turning it clockwise you are reducing the length of the stitch and if you are turning it counterclockwise this way you are increasing the length of the stitches and this is the reverse stitch button we all know the function of the reverse stitch button on every sewing machine likewise on this sewing machine the reverse stitch button is just to reinforce the stitch at the beginning and at the end of every stitch this is the spool pin on this sewing machine this is the foot controller to help you give pressure to this motor this is a clutch motor for the sewing machine it is very big under the sewing machine so once you press this you are giving pressure to this motor to move the fabric and this is a hoi reservoir under the table that is everything about this email sewing machine i've been using this sewing machine since 2020 and it has been working really well for me i like this sewing machine because it's very fast and easy to use. 
thank you for watching this video please make sure you subscribe and like this video it really makes a huge difference thank you